Okay, let's do an experiment on fire starters. Over here, I've got the Leatherman Charge, Leatherman Wave. We've got the uh, Corona Clipper. This is a blade sharpener, a fair rod, and uh, this is just where you light a rope on fire and you set it to go now. The idea is not to light this rope on fire. Um, the idea is to check out how much spark I get from these items. And then, of course, we have this gadget here. Now, there are some differences. Like, for example, this gadget here has a can opener. Um, it has a little bolt thing you can open. It has a ruler. You can draw a line. You just end here you can scrape with. It does have some more choices where these will just scrape. So, if you're carrying, if you have a Leatherman Charge or a Leatherman Wave and you have that in your pack already, you don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need any of that extra stuff. So, let's see. So, we've got it this way. This is the Leatherman Wave. Okay. Okay. We got some decent battle start fire. I mean, that, that's all there is to it. The um, Leatherman Charge. The Leatherman Charge actually throws, well, it's almost the same. Yeah, this seemed like it was throwing a little bit more spark. And how about this? These are the uh, Corona Clippers. These are blade sharpeners. They run 10 or 12 bucks. They have a piece of carbon on the front. I would say it... Yeah, I, I would say these throw a little bit more spark, is what I would say, than it did with these Leathermans. Now this item... Keep from bouncing all over the place. I would say this gadget throws just as much as the Leatherman's, okay? So, let's consider this. And let's check one other thing. If you carry a flint and steel in your pack, okay, do you need any of these to spark with? You don't. You see? You could use your flint if you get it just the right way, but it doesn't throw as much as the other ones. So there's some options. Now, they all throw enough spark to Lighter fire, no two ways about it. So if you're already carrying a Leatherman, pull out the saw, hit the uh, flint with it, and you're good to go. You don't need this uh, extra gadget unless you want to open beer bottle caps or have a ruler. Or if you don't carry any of these, you may want to carry one of these. Now, there is a difference in cost. I mean, if you already got the Leatherman, then okay, you're good to go. But uh, if you want to buy these here, you can buy 10 of these for about 10 bucks. And then buy your ferro rod separately. So it's really up to you which you want to run as a sparker. But this and the Leathermans are much easier to hang on to, you see. I can get my hand on her. And this just come with a cap to put on here. Kind of hard to put on and put off. You really got to push on it. So, but it does come with a cap. Now, in my everyday carry, I carry this, is what I carry. I carry that in my everyday carry. Now, in my truck, I carry one of these Leathermans. And if I had to leave my truck, Oh, definitely this is going into my everyday carry. 
and, I, and I'll be carrying that with me. So then I'll have two ways to start fire. But I do have this in my in my vehicle. Now, this is what I carry when I'm backpacking. I don't carry Leatherman when I'm backpacking. Why don't I carry Leatherman when I'm backpacking? A lot of people don't know like, are you crazy? They're heavy. They are really heavy. The weight of these things is ridiculous. I don't know how much they made. I mean, they're bulletproof, and they're fine if you got them on a holster on your waist, but they are heavy, and, and that's, the, that's the thing I don't like about them. I mainly carry a Swiss Army knife, which this is probably half the weight of these Leathermans. And uh, I'm in the process, and I'm waiting for some things to come in, to where this particular thing here, it's hollow inside. So I ordered, um, I ordered three pieces of flint different sizes to figure out which one's going to fit in there the best. And then I'm going to put some twine wax on it in there. Because these particular flints here, let me see if I can show you. These are mini flints. These are really, really tiny. And um, you'll see, it does go in there, but there, there's a lot more room in there. See that? I can get a much bigger flint in there. And these things are very easy to snap in half. So I ordered some different ones, sizing up to figure out what's the best size I can put in there with some um, with some twine and wax. So you're going to have to decide. They all work fine. I mean, whichever one you choose all works fine. I'm big on weight, but like I said, the Leathermans, I, I, I don't take with me backpacking because I find them just too heavy. I usually take one of these here, and it works just fine for me. So you have to decide what you want. Now, if you've already, if you're already carrying a, a Leatherman and you're comfortable with that, then all you need is a, a good piece of flint, and you're good to go. You don't need a striker. Okay. Nice things about these uh, Corona clippers—they do throw just as much spark as it does with these, but these Coronas will sharpen things. So you could sharpen the end of a shovel. Um, there's different tools that you may use outside that you can sharpen with. So by carrying this with the ferro rod, you can not only start a fire, but now you can actually sharpen your tools that are around the house. And you may want to get, get one of these. So you have options, is what you have. But from what I'm seeing between the Leathermans, the Corona, and this particular item here, I'm really not noticing a whole lot of difference. Maybe a little bit more with this one but really not a whole lot of difference. So I thought I'd do a comparison on these different items to hit a flint rod with. And uh, again, there's no right or wrong with this. It's all on what you like or what you feel comfortable with. So here's a quick video on some strikers that you may want to consider later. Catch you guys on the next one.